Good morning. Today's lesson is on transformation, and we are covering the topic reflection on vertical lines. Okay. Uh, first, let's talk about the reflection on y-axis. Let's say this is your y-axis. Okay, that's your consider that one is mirror line. If you are standing in front of the mirror, let's consider this one mirror. Okay, you are standing right here, and that's that. And I'll just show you right hand like this with different color, and then you have nice here. Okay, okay, that's you. Let's say one, two, three units from the middle line. You can expect your image. You see that every single day. It's three units on the opposite sides of your mirror line. Okay. When it, when this thing is happen, this is actual you, actual you, and this is image of you. Okay. That's not you. That's your image. Okay, you are three units away from the mirror and your image is three units opposite sides of the mirror. Okay, when this thing is happen, your your uh, shape is flipped over. So this is your image. That's on X axis. Now, if you have a triangle, okay, let's me show you this one if I have a triangle on the grid x-axis and y-axis okay in this grid if this is my object a is 1 1 b is 3 1 c is 1 4 and same way over here it's reflected on the x-axis so one unit from the y-axis to this side its image gonna be on the opposite sides one unit this way so a prime would be minus 1 1 b prime would be minus 1 3 and C prime would be minus one four. Just to show you this A, one unit from this Y axis. So A prime is one unit on the other side of this Y axis. Look at B, B is three units, one, two, three units on this side. And image of B prime, B is B prime, it's three units on the other side of this Y axis, okay? So these two are known as corresponding points because they are similarly placed. They are exactly same way placed on this side of this uh, reflection line and the opposite of that line. Similarly, they are placed. So these two are known as corresponding points. A, A prime is known as corresponding points. C, C prime is known as corresponding points. Okay. Now, object is, let me just write down this coordinates of the object. A, you have one, one coordinates. X coordinates is one y coordinates is 1, b you have 3, 1, c you have 1, 4. Now after it gone through this transformation on the y axis, the coordinates of uh, image becomes a prime corresponding points, a prime becomes minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, b prime becomes minus 3, 1, and your C prime becomes minus one four, minus one four. If you just look closely to these values, okay. Now, if you, if you look at this coordinates of A A prime B B prime C C prime, if you have the coordinates A and B in the object, see that uh, Y coordinates remain same one 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 four four. But x coordinates is the same, but with the negative value, the the uh, sign changes. So for the object, image is going to be same. Ch change the sign of x coordinates, b remains same. This is the formula. So if you look here, a is one one. The coordinates of a are one one. So using that formula, coordinates of a prime, the image would be minus one one. Three one. The coordinates of B would be image of B would be minus 3 1 okay same way now when you have that you already know y axis is your line of uh, reflection if you fold it along this line of reflection you can see all the corresponding points a a prime b b prime c c prime they coincide see that they coincide each other okay 
and next one uh, after this you need to know transformation matrix okay transformation matrix whenever you have any reflection on y axis okay transformation matrix and we call that m and it's going to be minus 1 0 and 0 1 uh, there is a formula transformation matrix times object equal to image okay um, let's let's try this one over here I'm just changing my color of the pen uh, ink uh, transformation matrix would be minus one zero zero one and this object a would be one 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 x coordinates one y coordinates one b would be three one c would be one four okay and a b c now when i have that i hope you remember the multiplication matrix multiplication this row with this column okay and this is two by two matrix and this is two by three matrix if we have this number of uh, column over here and number of row of the second one are equal then matrix multiplication is possible and matrix matrix product will be having two by three order okay now just multiply this minus one times one remember this with this line okay this column and this row minus one times one is minus one plus zero times one is zero so it's going to be minus one same thing uh, all this going to be zero minus three plus zero so minus three minus one plus zero is minus one now this with again we're going to start from column one column two column three so this with this zero times one is zero plus one times one is one so this is one zero times three is zero plus one times one is one zero times one is zero plus one times four is four so that's a prime b prime c prime that's the image if you look closely minus one one minus three one minus one four so this is how you're going to get that either you can use the formula or you can use the matrix transform uh, transformation matrix for um, y axis transformation you can use this one to get the image okay now uh, instead of this just to show you instead of this this is the object we had before one one three one one four and image was here so all of them corresponding points are equally distanced from the line of uh, reflection instead of this if you have a triangle let's say over here okay triangle over here now object is remain remaining same image is over here so this new image would be if you look here then remember this one was a and a will come over here let's put that a double prime it's going to be 11 1 b is going to be here b double prime <coughs> would be 9 excuse me 9 1 and c double prime that's a different image it's going to be 11 4 now what is the line of reflection of this one uh, object is here image is here new image let's put that i2 image now y coordinates remain same okay look at the x coordinates it changes okay now if you just take the average of x coordinates doesn't matter which one this plus that divided by two or this plus this divided by two or this plus this divided by two it's always gonna get x equal to 11 plus 1 divided by 2 is 6 so the line of reflection would be x equal to 6 now let's see if it works or not see that x equal to 6 right over here so from this line from this line see this line over here I pointed this B is 1 2 3 3 on the left and this B double prime would be 1 2 3 on this side so this is your line of reflection if you don't want to do that average of that then just count the distance from the point to its corresponding point the distance from this point to the, its corresponding is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 divided by 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 so from here go 3 1 2 3 this is again this line x equal to 6 this is how you find it out okay now in your question okay in your exam they are asking uh, several type of questions they might ask you to find out it's pretty obvious it's a reflection on uh, y-axis then transformation matrix they are going to ask for the transformation matrix that's one marks question but if they are asking for 
describe the describe the single transformation and this type of question carries two marks and you need to give two pieces of information one is type of transformation can you recognize that type of transformation that's the question is all about and then second one as soon as you figured out it's a reflection then they are going to, you have to give this information line of reflection okay equation of the line reflection okay now whatever i have written in the black line black ink you don't need to answer that you don't need to write down that you need to write only this type of transformation is reflection and if you are reflection on y-axis so you, either you can write down y-axis or you can give the equation of the line x equal to zero if your line of reflection is this then again reflection and you write down line of reflection is x equal to six okay this is very important okay this types of question ask but there is one more thing uh, let me let me show you with this okay if you have an object right over here right over here it's exactly on the y-axis okay so remember a b c so a b c is like that and its image becomes just like this one it's reflected on y-axis okay now a b c and when you bring this together let me write down this a b c and your image comes this side and this b prime but a prime and b prime coincide they are the same and c prime and c are the same so a c hasn't changed at all after the reflection a c remains same if you have any uh, condition like that any situation like that then this ac is known as invariant line okay invariant line are the line that cannot be changed after the reflection okay uh, you may have invariant point as well let's say your object is uh, is uh, let me just put it this way oh this is pink one okay this one and let's say its reflection is over here. So again, this is a new uh, triangle. Okay, let's say A, B, C, you can clearly see A hasn't changed, B prime, C prime. So there is only one point, it, it didn't change after the transformation. So this point is known as invariant point. Okay, that's invariant line and invariant point. Okay, these are all you need to know. And then I'll see you in next video, transformation, reflection on horizontal line. Thank you very much. Have a good day.